For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Revenue is projected to reach approximately $6.7 billion in the third quarter, according to the company's announcement on Tuesday. The second quarter results also surpassed projections, leading the company to raise its forecast for artificial intelligence accelerators, which are chips used to develop artificial intelligence models. This outlook indicates that AMD is making significant progress in its pursuit of NVIDIA Corporation, which currently dominates the accelerator market. NVIDIA has benefited greatly from the surging demand, causing its shares and stock price to soar over the past year, making it the world's most valuable chip maker. Chief Executive Officer Lisa Su stated on Tuesday that AMD expects to generate more than $4.5 billion in sales from its MI300 products this year. This is an increase from an earlier target of $4 billion, though analysts' estimates have been closer to $5 billion. The growth reflects the company's effort to ramp up production, although supply remains tight. Sue downplayed concerns that the rush to expand artificial intelligence infrastructure is slowing down, emphasizing that customers are still eager to seize the opportunity. And the company is committed to introducing new artificial intelligence processors annually, marking a significant milestone. Sue mentioned that the company continued to accelerate its artificial intelligence traction, with cloud computing and enterprise customers embracing AMD's Instinct MI300X products. Additionally, demand is increasing for its traditional personal computing and server businesses. AMD's revenue for the second quarter rose by 8.9% to $5.84 billion, surpassing the estimate of $5.72 billion. Earnings per share increased to $0.69, cents, compared to a projection of $0.68. Cents. Despite trailing NVIDIA by a significant margin in the accelerator market, AMD remains its closest competitor. The company hopes to secure a larger portion of the funds that data center operators such as Microsoft Corporation and Meta Platforms Incorporated are investing in the development of artificial intelligence tools. Although there is strong demand for accelerators, the appetite for some other AMD products has slowed. Recently, embedded chips and semiconductors for gaming consoles have faced challenges. Following the announcement, AMD shares rose by more than 7% in extended trading. They had earlier closed at $138.44 in New York, which represented a decline of 6.1% for the year. Companies such as Qualcomm Incorporated, Arm Holdings Public Limited Company, and Intel Corporation are all scheduled to release their financial reports this week. This occurs during a sensitive period for the chip industry, as investors have been selling shares of these companies following a significant rise earlier in the year. The Philadelphia the Stock Exchange Semiconductor Index, a significant benchmark, has declined by 11% this month. For investors, the initial excitement over artificial intelligence spending has shifted to concerns about whether the infrastructure will yield rapid returns. Similar to Intel, AMD derives the majority of its revenue from personal computer and server microprocessors. Based in Santa Clara, California, AMD also competes with NVIDIA in the market for graphics processors. AMD is Intel's primary competitor in both server and personal personal computer processors, as well as in programmable logic chips. These programmable logic chips can be reconfigured with software after they have been installed. Additionally, AMD supplies the main component for game consoles manufactured by Microsoft and Sony Group Corporation. This diversification of their product offerings helps to maintain their competitive edge in the market. AMD's data center division reported sales of $2.8 billion in the last quarter, more than double the amount from the previous year. This figure also exceeded analysts' expectations, which were set at $2.75 billion. Conversely, revenue from the gaming segment experienced a decrease of 59%, totaling $648 million. AMD noted that the two primary game consoles utilizing their chips are now in their fifth year, which has impacted sales. Additionally, revenue from embedded semiconductor fell by 41% from the previous year, reaching $861 million. This decline was attributed to weak demand from customers who have accumulated excess inventory. In the end, revenue is expected to be around $6.7 billion in the third quarter, exceeding analysts' estimates. The second quarter results also surpassed projections, and AMD has raised its forecast for artificial intelligence accelerators. AMD is making significant progress in its pursuit of NVIDIA, the dominant player in the accelerator market. Chief Executive Officer Lisa Su announced that AMD anticipates generating over $4.5 billion in sales from MI300 products this year, reflecting an effort to increase production despite tight supplies. 
Sue reassured that the demand for artificial intelligence infrastructure remains strong. MI300 revenue surpassed $1 billion in the second quarter, and AMD is committed to annually introducing new artificial intelligence processors. AMD's second quarter revenue increased by 8.9% to $5.84 billion, and earnings per share rose to $0.69. Cents. While AMD is still behind NVIDIA in the accelerator market, it aims to capture more investment from major data center operators. Despite the strong demand for accelerators, other AMD products like embedded chips and gaming console semiconductors have faced challenges. AMD shares rose over 7% after the announcement, and the company continues to compete fiercely in the semiconductor industry, particularly against Intel and NVIDIA. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being being said, I will see you in the next video.